In this video, we're going to use M24 on a piece of zinc. To start off, we're going to use 80 grit on an orbital sander and sand it up real good. Then we'll follow it with the Sculpt Nouveau Metal Cleaner and a Scotch-Brite pad, and then we'll get to the patina process. You could go straight into the Metal Cleaner and Scotch-Brite pad instead of using the orbital sander, but we wanted to show those of you who are doing bigger pieces or just want to speed up the process in general, that's the quick and easy way to do it. You don't have to spend as much time on the Scotch-Brite pad and Metal Cleaner step as I am here. Once you've done that, you've done most of the cleaning. You really just need to now do a deep greasing and a light scuff. Now that we're rinsed and dried from the metal cleaner, we'll go in with our M24. Now M24 is traditionally used as a blackener for bronze, brass, and copper, but it does work differently on different metals. So that's what we're trying to show you here is what it'll do to zinc and galvanized. As you can see, those first initial dots that got onto the zinc reacted first. Uh, that's very typical of a reactive or traditional patina. It's just kind of how it goes. You can try and roll it on, brush it on. The nice thing about the acidic patinas is they react however you get them onto the bare metal. Uh, but that's why we're saturating it so much is because as it sits, it's going to kind of auto level out and we won't see those dots nearly as bad. So we're going to let this sit for about four or five minutes and then we're going to rinse it off. We've now rinsed and we wanted to include this little step. A lot of tendencies is to wipe, but dabbing really is the best to dry. Um, and this is really just to get the excess off. If you had to uh, air dry, that would work as well. But if you're going to use paper towels, dab dry. Otherwise, when you go to wipe it, you'll move particles and you'll actually see the wipe on the surface. Now that our piece is dry, here's what we have. And we're going to use the ClearGuard EF Matte. That's the environmentally friendly version. Uh, you can see it darken just a little bit, but the, remember the nice thing about going with environmentally friendly is it will actually bring those lighter tones back. So a lot of the times I'll use the EF formula uh, just to hold that color a little bit more true to what I want it to be. The regular version might darken it a little bit, normally not too much, but the environmentally friendly is perfect for keeping those colors exactly where you need it to be. And here we have our final M24 on a piece of zinc. M24 is available at www.sculptnouveau.com.